wolf and the lamb. Once upon a time a wolf was lapping at a spring on a hillside when, looking up, what should he see but a lamb just beginning to drink a little lower down. There's my supper thought he, if only I find some excuse to seize it. Then he called out to the lamb, how dare you muddle the water I am drinking. Nay, master nay. Said the lambkin, if the water water be muddy up there, I cannot be cause of it, for it runs down from you to me. Well, then, said the wolf, why did you call me bad names this time last year, that cannot be, said the lamb, I am only six months old. I don't care snarled the wolf, if it was not you, it was your father and with that he rushed upon the poor little lamb. Morale of the story? Any excuse will serve a tyrant. The Dog and the Shadow It happened that a dog had got a piece of meat and carrying it home in his mouth to eat in peace. Now on his way home, he had to cross a plank lying across the running brook. As he crossed, he looked down and saw his own shadow reflecting in the water beneath. Thinking it was another dog with another piece of meat, he made up his mind to have that also. So he made a snap at the shadow in the water, but as he opened his mouth, the piece of meat fell out, dropped into the water and was never seen again. Morale of the story, be aware lest you lose the substance by grasping at the shadow. The Lion's Share The lion once went hunting with the fox, the jackal, and the wolf. They hunted and hunted till at last they surprised a stag, and soon took its life. Then came the question how the spoil should be divided. Quarter me this stag, roared the lion. So the other animal skinned it and cut it into four parts. Then the lion took his stand in front of the caracas and pronounced judgment. The first quarter is for me in my capacity as king of beasts. The second in mine as arbiter. Another share comes to me for my part in the chase. And as for the fourth quarter, well as for that, I should like to see which of you will dare to lay paw upon it. Humph grumbled the fox as he walked away with his tail between his legs, but he spoke in a low growl. You may share the labors of the great. But you will not share the rewards. A wolf had been gorging on an animal he had killed when suddenly a small bone in the meat stuck in his throat and he could not swallow it. He soon felt terrible pain in his throat, and ran up and down and seeking for something to relieve the pain. He tried to induce everyone he met to remove the bone. I would give anything, said wolf, if you would take it out. At last the crane agreed to try, and told the wolf to lie on his side and open his jaws as wide as he could. Then the crane put its long neck down the wolf's throat, and with its beak loosened the bone till at last it got it out. Will you kindly give me the reward you promised? Said the crane. The wolf grinned and showed his teeth and said. Be content. You have put your head inside a wolf's mouth and taken it out again in safety. That ought to be the reward for you. Morale of the story? Gratitude and greed do not go together. <laughs>